What's going on? So, got a new package. I know what it is. It's my new bulbs, my redheads, because I absolutely fried the crap out of this one. So, I'm about to fit the new ones. Let's crack them open. Oh, here we go. Got three of them. Right. You shouldn't touch them with your bare hands because on your hands, where's the light? On the hat, on your hands, you have like oil and stuff and that basically just sits in there like that. If that goes in and there's oil on it, the light gets ridiculously hot. That oil on the lamp will basically create too much heat and it will just blow up. So you've got to wear like gloves when you're like inserting them. So yeah, just be careful. I'm just going to fit that new one now. Right, so believe it or not, I'm actually going to use a bit of bloody, what's it called? Uh, a sandwich bag. You're better off using like legit gloves, you know, like legit gloves you get in like a packet, like a hundred of them. I don't know what they're called, like surgical gloves? I don't know. Anyway, here's the new bulbs. Let's get this in. Right, so there we go, that's in. Now before you test it, Put your gorge on, because if that blows up, mate, you need your eyes. If you ain't got your eyes, you can't see the shot. Yep. You use your wire gauze. Damn, I've bent that a bit. Right, obviously, I'm gonna close these just in case there is some kind of explosion and see if that now works, because I had three lights, this one blew up, well, it didn't blow up, it just kind of went while I was doing the shoot last week, which was the Oak North one. So, hopefully I've got three lights now. Let's make sure it's off over here. Turn that on, okay. Nah. Oh, did turn it on. Ben's got three lights again. Woo! Bloody hell. Right, sick. I'm happy with that. Later on. Later on. So, I just made some people miss their train. They didn't happy so I'm gonna stick up this end of the track if I can. I was carrying my bag over that bridge and uh, you know might have held a couple of people up. The train was about to go. What can you do mate? People absolutely hate me on the tube when I go here. What's going on? So today I'm shooting in a studio that is right next to um, the club 93 feet east which I shot a video for a night called Double Drop. I got this job through a friend that I met on the drone course, his name's David. He owns a production company and he got this shoot with a tanning company called Skinny Tan. So today we're shooting their promotional video and I'm the director of photography. I'm not directing the whole shoot, so I'm just uh, the cinematographer today. Decent one. Well, like, none of them are. You're doing it like for, for, for 650 like this? Yeah. Is it 650? No, it's 550. 550 like that? We'll do a time lapse and set up. Is this as well? I am. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, maybe.
Yeah, mate, you stick on anything. So it was pretty cool to actually work with David again. Well, it's the first time I worked with him. When I say work, I was on the drone course with him, um, and I met him through there. And that's when he kind of got in contact with me to do this job. But he is a little bit older than me, and he's got his own production company slash media content company. He does loads and loads of different stuff, and it's quite like inspiring to see him in there in his office, telling me about how he got these bigger clients, bigger budgets, stuff like that. So. Uh, it's definitely made me think, you know what, really, really push it, like, you can get your home, yourself a nice office in London, but it's not all like, it's not all like rainbows and fairies and that, it's like, it's fucking hard work, so, one day, one day. Never miss a moment to get some legit sound design. Nah, 